Hello, <clears throat> my name is Azita, and my email is duniazada.gmail.com and this is a tarot reading for Jenny from Blackpink. It's going to be a 20 card reading in which I'm going to use the Celtic Cross, which usually it's a 10 card reading. And I'm going to use as the, the first deck, the Tarot Illuminati, and then for each one of the cards, I'm going to take another card using the Chrysalis Tarot. And finally, I'm going to take an advice card from the Wisdom of the House of the Night, Oracle Cards, uh, from PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Okay, okie dokie. So, I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know if you're seeing it. This is, oi, this is not Jenny, by the way. This is a painting, painting, a drawing, not a painting, uh, from a, that I did from a photo. Still in, uh, working, <laughs> so I'm still working on it. Uh, from a photo from a model on unsplash.com. It's not Jenny, okay? I uh, just wanted to show you. I did this yesterday. Today is the... Oh my God, I don't know the day. 4th, <laughs> 5th of November. Oh my God. Anyway, so if you like to work with me as a ghostwriter, for instance, I can write, you know, a fiction story. I can write you a manifest manifestation story, even, you know, if you want to manifest something. If you want to manifest meeting Jenny from Blackpink, you know, you can write to me and I'll write you a manifestation story where that happens. Or if you just want to, to give this as a gift to a friend, you know. Anyway, you can write to me at duniazada.gmail.com. So let's do the reading, a general reading for the next 12 months. We are in November, in the very beginning of November 2022. So this is going to be from November 2022 to October 2023. Uh, it will be a 12 month reading, okay, for Jenny from Blackpink. So, uh, you know, generally speaking, uh, what does the future hold for Jenny from Blackpink for the next 12 months? What does the future hold for Jenny from Blackpink? Oi! Oh, all sorts of cards. I'm gonna see them, but if they come out, they come out. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in the deck. What does the future hold for Jenny from Blackpink for the next 12 months? And this is very, very general, okay? She's a Capricorn, you know, I just saw. She might have the moon in Scorpio. So, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna take 10 cards. Ooh, I don't think, I don't know if she has something in uh, fire signs. I don't remember now. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, interesting, seven, oh, eight, nine, and ten. I think when I did the reading for Lisa, this card, card the Three of Cups, came out. And this card came, comes out again for, for Jenny. So Jenny has one, two major arcana cards. Okay, now another card, another 10 cards as clarification cards for each one of these cards. Okay, what does the future hold for Jenny from Blackpink for the next 12 months? And this is from November 2022 up to October 2023. Okay, so let's see. I want a clarification card for each one of these cards. And I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna take the 12 clarification cards, okay? One, two, oh, three, four, interesting, five, six, seven, okay. The Three of Cups showed up twice. Interesting. Another one. Nine. Oh, and ten. Okay. Seems good, generally good, honestly. But she's hiding something. Now, an advice card from Jenny's 
guardian angels. What is the advice for Jenny from her guardian angels for the next 12 months? We okay, this one wants to pop out. Okay, this one wants to come and speak to us, which is fulfillment. Okay, and this is number 20. 20. I'm going to read the advice already, okay? It's here, if you want to see. I don't know if you can... But I'm going to read it anyway. So, fulfillment. This is a sign that all your needs are being met, that you are close to achieving your goal. So, this is for Jenny. I celebrate your choices at this time, for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned um, of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. You are meant to have a rich, satisfying life and taste all, all that experience has to offer. Look around and recognize all of the ways that your life is already full. You have so many reasons to feel good about yourself. All is well and will be well when you choose fulfillment. So everything is fine. Everything is fine for Jenny. This is great. This is great. So her angels are saying that, I don't know, there's something that she wants and she will have it in the next 12 months. Plus, she already has a lot. I've uh, read, I read, well, I saw a little bit of a video or two about Jenny. And apparently, she comes from a very rich family. So that's, but that doesn't mean that she didn't work for to be on black pink. Because they, they go through years of training. That's amazing. Like in K-pop, it's years of training. Oh my God. So anyway, the theme. The theme is the Queen of Wands and the Watcher. This is the clarification card. The Queen of Mirrors, which is the Queen of... Uh, um, two Queens, interesting. Uh, the Queen of Cups. I don't know. She, I don't think Jenny has anything in fire. I, I don't remember right now. She has, unless she has like the rising sign, the rising sign, you need to know the, the particular date, uh, date, I'm sorry, uh, time of birth. And I don't know that. She has sun in Capricorn. I think she has also planets in Aquarius. I think the Venus is in Pisces, if I'm not mistaken, Moon is in Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, I don't think she has any of that, she has I think um, North Node in Libra, therefore the South Node is in Aries, which is a fire sign. Mm. She might be in the uh, Aries energy, South Node, but I'm thinking about something else, looking at these two cards. I've seen in the, those videos that she might be very close to her mother. So her mother might be a very decide, deciding factor in what she does, in what the career she takes. So I don't think she's the Queen of Wands right now or the Queen of Mirrors. I don't think this is uh, a woman late 30s or after the age of 40. Very magnetic, very creative, could be domineering and possessive. Yes, my way or the highway. And with the clarification card, the Watcher, there's positive ways of reading this. Someone who's, uh, someone who's creative and puts her heart and soul into their creations. I'm sorry to say this. I'm very sorry to say this. Please don't sue me. For allegedly, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't know Jenny. I don't know anyone connected with her. Uh, please don't be offended. Please don't sue me. I'm getting, this is the mother, that she watches over Jenny, but she could be manipulative. And she has steered Jenny's way in a certain direction. Um, I don't know if this is true or not. And she might keep doing this for the next 12 months, or she will have a very domineering presence in Jenny's life. I don't know. I'm not saying this is necessarily bad. This could be good, you know, like a strong woman, I'm going to say mother, who guides her, who gives her emotional, uh, um, an emotional connection, an emotional support. So her mother might be very present, okay? Um, 
for her, to her. I don't, I, oops, sorry. I don't think this is Jenny's energy. I really don't. Um, I think she's yet too young to have this energy. Um, and then that which is yet not seen for the next 12 months, there's the Seven of Cups with the Nine of Scrolls. Okay, the Nine of the Scrolls are swords in this deck, in the um, Chrysalis deck. Scrolls are uh, the swords. Seven of Cups is possibilities and choices. And there's many possibilities and many choices, but whatever choice is made might not be the right choice. So if the mother is steering her, steering Je Jenny, Jeannie, she might lead Ginny into a bad choice. Uh, not necessarily, okay? Not necessarily. But there's some sort of choices. There's many choices available available to her. I'm thinking in her career. Uh, but there's like despair connected with those choices. She either doesn't like those choices or doesn't like having to choose one and maybe not choose the others or me, maybe being forced to choose one and not choose what she really wanted or the choice was a bad choice or will be a bad choice even even though she doesn't see it yet so again this is for the next 12 months so the choice might be ch steered by Jenny's mother or might be made by her by Jenny I don't know there's like a a, a pain connected with the choice uh, also, this could be delusions and illusions, like an illusion falls in her life and she will be very sad for that, it will cause her emotional pain. Again, this I'm not a psychic, I'm only reading the cards, please don't sue me. This is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. Now, the root, uh, the basis, okay, another Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords come out, comes out twice, she's sad, she's... She can't sleep at night. She's sad. Why? The we another queen. Okay, I'm sorry. I think the mother has a, a big... Her mother has a very big importance in her life. There's the weaver. The queen of scrolls. Which is the queen of swords. Three queens so far. Three queens. There's only one. I don't think there's another queen. But three queens at least. So she's sad about the queen. The Queen of Scrolls is someone late 30s, after the age of 40, could be someone younger. I don't think it is, particularly, honestly, because there's too many queens here. Uh, I understand that it's very difficult to be at their level and not have some sort of matur maturity. Okay, I understand all of that, but honestly, intuitively, I think this is not Jenny. The queens do not represent her. I think it's the mother, her mother. Um, the Queen of Scrolls is someone, uh, in this particular case, I'm going to say creative, but someone who's really intelligent. Okay, the scrolls are the swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is very intelligent. So Queen of Swords is someone who takes the long view, makes a long-term plan. I'm going to think it's her mother is trying to control her direct direction. I was told in one of the comments in Lisa's uh, video, this is from Blackpink, that their contract ends in 2023. Uh, I don't know, September, August, something like that. I, I don't know exactly how that works. So it's like her mother has plans. And her mother already decided the next direction of Jenny's life in terms of her, of her career. And maybe this, this is the thing that makes her really sad, that she cannot have, that her mother already decided... Or that she cannot take the choice that she wants to take, that her mother... And this is makes you really, really sad. If it's not that, okay, if it's not that, she's sad because of something connected with her mother. Meaning, maybe her mother is a little bit ill. I really hope that's not the case, okay? But maybe something is happening to her mother and this is why she's sad. Because she doesn't want anything bad to happen to her mother. I don't know, okay? I'm going to give all possibilities. Now, the past connected with the present and the future. We have the Judgment card with the Eight of Mirrors. Huh. This is a very, very big change. I'm going to say in the very recent past. I don't know. It could be, like I was told, that their contract ends in 2023 for Blackpink. I don't know. Maybe there's... It might be connected with that, that it will be a big change for all of them. And she'll be walking away from something, from this, from this career. 
And this is a realization that she had in the past, in the most recent past, that this will happen. And maybe that's, and now there's like uncertainty towards her future, but remember the, the card of the guardian angels. Her life is full. She has fulfillment. She will keep having fulfillment. So it's like a remind her from our guardian angels that she will get what she wants. And her life is already full. So maybe she, she sometimes she doesn't see that all that well. Uh, but maybe this is a realization in the recent past that eventually this life that she has with black pink, pink will be over, over and she'll have to go into a new direct, right, direction, to, to a different direct, direction without them. Now this could also be connected with the thing that we had from 2020 to 2022, and it's still going, but less. Like, that thing, do you remember that thing that I cannot say the name? That thing, you know, that completely changed everybody's lives? So it might have impacted her in a very big way. If it's not that, it's something that completely changed her, her life. Uh, I've been reading, reading and seeing videos about maybe, perhaps, she has allegedly, 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 please don't sue me, a relationship with Ty. I don't know. If that's the case, maybe that's the thing that changed her in the most recent past. There's like a complete change of her life. You know, in the most recent past, either a realization or something happened in terms of, of for instance, love or something connected with those two years where, where we have to be closed off, you know, maybe that. Now, that which is in her mind or that which she wants. She has the Ace of Swords, okay? With the wheel, she wants to completely change her mind, her life. She she really does. Maybe this in the past is her wish. She wants to, uh, you know, the judgment with the eight of mirrors. Maybe this is a wish. Maybe this is like a internal realization, an internal desire, uh, something in her change that made her think, "I'm gonna do things different differently now." But this is something that maybe she kept to herself and she told no one, including her mother. Like, I, when black pink ends, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. So maybe this is something internal, but she has not revealed this to anyone. If she has the moon in Scorpio, I would, um, it, it would make sense because Scorpios keep things quiet. They keep things to themselves. Uh, now, she wants to be able to speak up, to be able to decide, you know, whatever she wants to do, the road to take. And she wants to completely change her life. There's the wheel. She wants to completely change her life. And she wants to be the one who decides. There's too many queens here. I'm thinking she doesn't get to decide. She doesn't get to decide anything. And she's kind of sick of it. And she wants to decide her life. And she wants to speak up. And clearly say, I want this or I want to do that. I don't know if this is the truth or not. If, if it's not that, that which is in her mind is a revelation that will come to her. Someone will tell her, your life is about to change. Your life is going to change. So it's something told to her or something that already been told to her. But now within the next 12 months, everyone will know about it. Uh, maybe a decision that has not been made by her. It might have been made by the company, you know, the cake pop. I don't know exactly how this works. Uh, so a business decision, a career decision that affects not only her, but the entirety of the group, the whole black pink. And this will be primarily on her mind and not something changes and everything changes. I don't know exactly. It could be that the, the, the group really ends. I don't know exactly how that works. And then everyone will know about it. Or it's not that. It's more like I want to decide my life. I want to change my life. Now, the next two to three months, we are November, December, January, February. This, uh, January, February. I'm going to say three months because it's the number three. February, maybe. There's the Three of Cups with the Eight of Stones. Okay. I think it's Jenny plus her three teammates, teammates, colleagues. So it's her with everyone else from Blackpink. So uh, her three teammates and Jenny. So 
even though we only see four. So it's all of them, and the Eight of Stones is the Eight of Pentacles. It's all of them working. All of them working hard. All of them working on routines, on dance routines, on making new, new music. It's all of them working, working, working. So maybe in February 2023, Maybe there's a new album. I don't know how this works. I really don't. I've, I have not followed <laughs> their career and their music. I only know this because my line of work, I come across a lot of content, content connected with Blackpink, with K-pop in general. So, um, I don't know. I, it could be a new album and they have to, you know, rehearse any, everything connected with that. Could be them rehearsing, dancing and, and the music, or could they have could it could be them going back on the road i don't know if they are on the road or not uh, doing shows starting february 2023 and it's it's fun i would say it's fun but it, it's a lot of routine the same thing doing the same thing over and over again okay now her her herself jenny we have the seven of swords with the three of mirrors she's keeping a secret she's keeping a secret there's something she's not telling, even from her teammates, because the Three of Mirrors, it's also the Three of Cups. So either she's keeping a secret from her teammates, from her colleagues, from Lisa and Rose and Shiso. I know it's embarrassing knowing this. <laughs> a teenager can know this, but it's weird. I know all of her names. Uh, so... Why it's embarrassing? Because I'm over 40. Come on. This, this group is for teenagers. Everybody knows this. Uh, anyway. So maybe she's keeping a secret from her teammates. I don't know. Maybe uh, being influenced by her mother. Or all of them. All the teammates. They, the the Blackpink. The group. The group itself has decided something in secret. Ooh. They've decided something in secret. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't know if it's true or not. It's just something that popped into my head. Allegedly, I'm not a psychic. It's just a thought. I don't know if they own, if uh, the four... Um, the, four uh, the four young women in, in, the, in the band, if they own the name Black Pink if they own anything connected with that. I don't think they do. I think they are hired by a company that sets all of this up because that's generally how it works in K-pop. The secret that they might be hiding is that, let's say in late 2023, they, uh, their contract ends, okay? Their contract ends. And maybe because they're not, they, the contract doesn't get renewed, it might mean Blackpink ends. However, they might be cooking up, cook, cooking up something in secret. Uh, all of them, all of the four. If it's not all of the four, it's at least three of them. Okay, at least three of them are doing this. Not necessarily all four of them, but at least three. In which they decide we are going to go on. We might change our names, like the name of the band instead of Blackpink, because probably they do not own anything connected with that name, like legally, they don't own the name, they don't own, you know, all of that. They might decide to change their name and become, I don't know, I don't know, Purple Flower, I have no idea, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. And they decide to uh, rename themselves, and go on and all the followers will follow them and they will own the name and they will own the company and they don't have to give any cut to any other company that could be the secret either between all four of them or only three of them so there's a secret that's being kept if it's not that she's keeping a secret from her teammates what secret is she keeping i don't know but maybe that she wants a, a completely different life, that maybe she doesn't want to do that anymore. I don't know what secret she's keeping. Uh, now, people around her. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Stones. Interesting. 
I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm getting family vibes again with this because what I saw is that her mother and her father are really rich. So she comes from a really rich family, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles tells me that. Really rich family. And then the Ace of Stones, it's the same as the Ace of Pentacles. New line of work, new, I don't know, something connected with money. Something new connected with money. So her family, I'm going to say mother, but also father. I might be wrong with this. Please forgive me. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I have no idea. Might be already deciding what Jenny is going to do. Might be launching something new connected with, with her. Brand deals. This could be a line of perfume. This could be a line of makeup. This could be what Fenty is to Rihanna. You know, Rihanna apparently made a lot of money with Fenty. She's making more money. Allegedly, I don't know if this is true or not. She's making more money with that than with her singing career, with her art artistic career. I don't know. This could be that type of thing. Something that will give her a lot of money. But it's someone else managing that for her. And I'm going to say family is managing that for her, for her. I'm thinking makeup, but it could be any type of thing. Okay, this is the people around her. I'm thinking family. Ten of Pentacles tells me family. Now, yeah, like, and she wants to do something different. <laughs> she, does, she wants to do something new. She's not really all that hyped up, up with the choices that her mother keeps making for her. Maybe she's like tired of that. Maybe she wants to go on her own way. And make decisions for herself. I might be wrong with this. Now, advice, fears, or dreams. We have the chariot with the ravens, the magician. I think this is a wish. She wants to decide herself with the chariot. She wants to lead her life. Also, the chariot is connected with the sign of cancer. What is the sign, sun sign, or... Uh, of Thai. I don't know if this this is doesn't show up as love, honestly. This to me this is this shows up as herself, as career, as business, as the very big weight that family has over her and the connections with her teammates, team, band bandmates. Uh, but the chariot, I don't know if if Thai is something in cancer, so maybe she wants to be with Thai, I don't know. But to me, the chariot in her per in this particular case, what she wants is to rule her own life, and no one else make decisions for her. She wants to decide for herself. And we have the ravens here, the magician, which is my favorite card. The magician, yes, he's a leader, is number one. Like the magician does what he wants to do. Um, She wants to magically lead her life, meaning she wants to she wants to wake up magically one day and one day she's leading her life. I, I don't know if this makes any type of sense. I'm gonna see this as more as a advice. This is a dream, but also an advice. Advice is lead your life, make your own decisions, and you can manifest doing your own decisions. You can use manifestation, you can use the law of attraction to lead your life. Also, you must have confidence as an advice because the chariot needs to have confidence and needs to be disciplined. She's a cop Capricorn, like Capricorns, really disciplined people. Uh, and they will work very hard, you know. Uh, the magician is also the leader. Both, the, both of these cards are leaders, but she, she needs to kind of follow her own lead, what she wants to do, be disciplined about it, but she can, she can manifest, she can use the law of attraction in order to be the leader of her life. So if she wants not to be completely steered by family, always steered by family, she can, she can actively use, maybe in secret, the law of attraction in order to manifest her making the decisions connected with her um, career, with her professional life. So, 
Like, be decisive. Don't be afraid of being decisive. Yeah, like, start... In her case, I would say, like, start applying the law of attraction in order to her be the one who makes decisions in her, in her life, if this makes any type of sense. Also, traveling would be good for her. Traveling would be good for her. She already travels, right? But if there's like something new in terms of a new business connect, she should lead. She should be the one who makes the decisions. Now, the outcome. We have the Prince of Swords with the star. Okay. Okay. So, the Prince of Swords <coughs> might be a young man, not necessarily. Might be Thai, not necessarily. I might do a love reading between the two of them. I don't know if... I'm sorry, I should or not, because I, 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 I don't know if they're together or not. I have no idea. Please don't sue me. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So, Prince of Swords could be a young man from a... Um, air sign, because swords are air, Aquarius, I think she has Mars, I think Jenny has Mars and Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken, so, uh, which would make Mars in, in the women, is the man we are attracted to, so she might be attracted with uh, men who have Aquarius uh, in, their, in their birth chart, so, it's Aquarius, Libra, Libra is her north node, and Gemini, so the Prince of Swords is someone who's very quick, very intelligent, very smart. Makes decisions like, like that. But he can be emotionally unavailable. Like, he can be selfish. He can be harsh. So he could be a him, could be a young man. But not necessarily. This could be Jenny's energy, okay? And then we have the, the star, which is Aquarius connected with Aquarius. Star, like literally a star. This could be Thai. I don't know. The thing that might be revealed that maybe all of her uh, bandmates know, the secret that all of them know, might be connected with the relationship with Thai. It could be that. And at the end of the year, within a year, this uh, this relationship might be revealed to all, okay? So this this secret that she's hiding, and maybe even from, I don't I doubt it from her teammates. I really doubt it. It's impossible. If you work together, all that no, it's impossible. They have to be in on it. They have to know. Come on. I saw a video that kind of implied that, that they all knew this. <laughs> they all knew allegedly between the alleged uh, uh, the relationship between. Uh, Jenny and Ty, allegedly, 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 okay, I don't know, I don't know. If they are, maybe at the end of the year, at the end of the year, within the next 12 months, this will be revealed, because he's literally a star, this is connected with the sign of Aquarius, Ty might have something in Aquarius, and this revelation might be fast. Now, if it's nothing like that, she sees an opportunity, and she takes this opportunity, and this opportunity might be abroad, or this opportunity might rise her star even further in a bigger way and i'm keep thinking fenty and rihanna fenty and rihanna something like that could be something completely different not connected with makeup or what you know whatever or cosmetics i don't know but there could be an opportunity she takes that opportunity and her stardom rises even further more i don't know this could be something else this could be um, in movie making, I don't, I don't know, I really don't know, uh, but this could be, you know, abroad, this could be, like I said, a relationship with allegedly Thai, and they are caught abroad, not in Korea, but in a, another country, and other countries would not have they would uh, completely, they would say it, they would reveal it with, uh, without a problem, okay? If it's like in Greece or France or whatever, the other countries would reveal this. Um, or she could be traveling, not necessarily with this, with a young man. She could be traveling. She might decide to travel. I don't know, just to, to think things through, you know? 
there's an opportunity to travel that will bring her hope also another way of reading it like an opportunity to travel that will bring her hope that will help her fulfill her dreams that that will bring her some sort of fulfillment this could be her alone traveling but this is a very important travel which will fulfill her dreams which will give her hope so there's many ways of reading these cards it's interesting it's really interesting i think she wants to break free she wants to break free like the song from Gwyn, I want to break free. I think that's like her internal um, song. <laughs> uh, and she might be a bit overly controlled by family and her mother. Um, and I think she's sick of it. But I'm, I'm, I might be wrong here. I think her bandmates are her allies. Also think that when she's with them and when she is in the routine of training and practicing with them, it's something good for her. It will. It brings her joy. It brings her harmony. Okay. That's it. This is the reading that I have for Jenny from 22, end of 2022 to 2023 for the next 12 months. <clears throat> Sorry. Please don't sue me. Okay. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I'm not a psychic. I'm just reading the cards. If you are interested in working with me, please send an email to dunyasa.gmail.com. I'll be delighted and honored to work with you. That's it. Bye-bye.